Now, some people think that the capacity crunch will somehow naturally melt away. One commentator claimed that high-speed rail would soon be obsolete because the advance in computers would mean that more people would work from home. Well, I don't share his analysis. We joined Secretary of State Justin Greening, who was walking to number 10 for a cabinet meeting. What brings you walking this morning? Well, across the whole department, we're trying to reroute, remode, retime, and just generally reduce our uh, travel. So I'm remoding at the moment. It's not just about travel, but the way we work and making use of the technology available. And that's why later on, Justin Greening and Francis Maud met face to face thanks to video conferencing. Hello, and thank you very much for inviting me to speak to you today. For Norman Baker, the Minister responsible for alternatives to travel, remoding isn't something confined to Operation Step Change. It's a daily pattern of working, and this includes pre recording speeches on video. Well, I'm very keen to use um, this opportunity to record speeches remotely. First of all, it lets me get to audiences that wouldn't otherwise have a message from the department or from the minister. Um, secondly, of course, it's much better value than travelling maybe hundreds of miles to make a 10-minute speech. By doing this here in 10 minutes, uh, I can save ministerial time, I can save public money by not using transport, and we can cut carbon by not having an unnecessary journey. So it's all to the good. And uh, this is the way I think we should be going, maximising our time, minimising our impact on the environment. But I think it is very important that all of us get in the groove of looking at matters in a different way, realising the value of remote working uh, and approaching life in a different way. And I think those um, approaches have many gains to be got for uh, the government, many gains to be got for the environment and many gains to be got for the economy.